when that dwells on the record? No, I don't think so. I don't think anyone has dwelled on the record. Um, and I feel like guys out there playing, obviously there are, there are plays that, um, you know, we got to make. There is mistakes that we can't make. And, uh, you know, everybody holds themselves accountable, I feel like. And uh, you know, hopefully we can go out and put a quick game against Carolina. You got Jacksonville. Jacksonville next? Yes, yeah. Okay. Uh, Coach Ray wants to say you don't want to misconstrue the effort for lack of execution. How do you look at that equation? Do you think it's both or one or the other? What is it? Um, I think it's a little bit of both, man. Uh, you know, we're not playing we're not playing a good enough football to win right now. And uh, you know, the outcome is the outcome. You've seen what happened today, so uh, you know, I really don't have the answer. I gotta play better and uh hopefully everybody else feels the same. You know, the coaches can only do so much, put us in position, uh, but it's on us at the end of the day. For you personally, what do you Um you know, just trying to capitalize on every every chance I, I get. You know, obviously they're they're going to try to scheme up things against me. Uh, you know, man, just trying to trying to whatever the ball is, just trying to capitalize and catch it. You know, she would have opportunities. We have opportunities to catch it. Like maybe you do an open or something like that. How do you handle like going back to where you guys know? Hey, how do you handle that that conversation? Uh, you know, I'm letting him play ball. You know, it's, it's man, he hasn't started a lot of games, so you know, I'm not going over there. You know, harping on things and uh, you know trying to distract them. Obviously, you know the coaches do a good job of showing him on the iPad certain plays that we can hit and uh, looking at the, you know, I guess the previous plays. So um, you know, for me, it's just going out there and just still trying to execute and run, run the right routes for him. You see when he got started. Well, I mean, he's got a touchdown. I mean, he got a field goal first drive and position score and then drive. He got a defensive uh, turnover. You felt like you guys started well and maybe how to explain maybe how things just kind of stopped. It's football, um, like, you know, like I said, man, you should don't I post, I said the wrong team, you shouldn't post that, but um, um, you know, it's football, man, momentum. You know, we were close, and uh, you know, like I said, we we had some some outsides that we felt like we could have executed on, uh, and obviously, it was a uh, outsides that would set us back, which doesn't help. So, you know, it's a, it's a game of momentum. They went out and made a big play, and we did it. When you see what Evans is able to do in a game like that, you feel like obligation to try to match, or you you you, come, you, you notice his stats and think like, hey, I'm the, the one on this side. I got to do similar things. You ever think in terms of that? Nah, I've been playing a long time for 11 years. I never really care what the opposing receiver does. Um, you know, for me, it's going out and worrying about what I can do. So. Uh, you know, now nah, I really, I never really worry about you know another receiver stats or what they do. Very just how uh, frustrating a Sunday was it for you? Frustrating for all of us. Um, we didn't play the way we needed to win. They're the better team today, and um, you know, we just get home. That'd be better. I learned from this. What do you think made the play? You got to score in the first possession, just to kind of build a little momentum early, and things just kind of stalled after that. What do you think the problem was? Just didn't play well enough. Um, we do our job well enough, collectively uh, and individually. Um, and when you do things like that, you get beat. It's like we did today. Um, Got to execute. Um, and uh, Got to be able to put jobs together to get points. No we way. can do that. You can't dwell on the record that is when you're three and six. How much of a hole are you putting in, and how do you think you get out of it? Um, I think you just try to be positive. Uh, watch them. Um, Evaluate yourself. Um, you know, everybody just evaluate yourself individually and um, what we need to do better. Um, and um, you know, just still be helpful, um, remain positive. Um, guys can step up and you know, continue to work and try your best you can as the uh, week goes and try to, up, try to go out and get in on Sunday. Eric, for a young quarterback to get beat up the way Will did today, how hard for Will to have a chance to do what we've seen him do? Yeah, I mean, you got to ask that for Will. I mean, he plays quarterback. Um, you know, you want to have, want him to have, you know, enough time to be able to find guys that are open and um, him go out there and play the best that he can. And we always need to be better, and I think that's the main, be the, be the main focus. Some of the guys said that in order to keep this from spiraling completely out of control, it comes down to the leaders. Uh, I would imagine you're tired of, you, you know, having to get up and, and speak to you. Like, well, how do you? Personally, as a leader, try to curb this from getting this even worse. 
Um, I think we just all come together, um, uh, figure out what we need to do to uh, spin this in the right direction. Um, and I think that starts, you know, us at, in the building and doing what we need to do, the small things, like I said earlier this week. Um, you know, leadership just stepping up, uh, letting it translate to Sundays, other than just talking about it. I think um, the guys put a heavy good emphasis on that and just try to do the best that we can to turn this thing around. Is it close to the point where, like, I'm tired of talking about it, you got to do something? Is it close to that point? Yeah, I think it, I mean, that's evident. Um, we only talk so much. Right. Got to go out, got to go out and do. And I think we're all to that point. And, you know, talking should be over with. Got to go produce. Find a way you win this league. It's going to make the plays collectively, individually. And at some point, we got to go do it. And right now, we ain't doing it. Mike said not to mistake a lack of execution for a lack of effort. But if you guys are, are prepared and, and the effort's there, how do you explain kind of the lack of execution? Yeah, I just think, guys, it's um, really being locked in um, and really uh, focusing on, on what we need to do. Um, not ha- not having self inflicted wounds, um, uh, just being uh, precise in our play, especially in the red zone. We get down there, um, not being not being able to put points in the end zone. Um, Sound like the record saying that, and you know, we all just got to be grown men about it and um, be able to lock in and make the plays that need to be made. And focus when we focus. Why do you think that locking in is happening? I'm not sure. I don't know. You gotta, gotta figure it out. Um, and I say you guys need to step up, uh, myself included. Focus on playing better, being better for the team, and do whatever I can to help us win. But collectively, we all just need to be better in every aspect and every place. Thanks. How tired are you? Kind of tossed up a game like this. I mean, tired of losing. I mean, that's that's what it is. We, gotta, we need to f- start finding a way to win the game. We need to apparently make more plays on defense, put the offense in good uh, position. And at the end of the day, man, we just got to score some points. We got to score points and we got to go out the field. Um, that's pretty much what it is. I mean, they had 20 points, we had six. We didn't do enough to win the game. Do you feel like things were trending in the right direction? Are you score early? You get a sack and an interception early? And then, I think mean, this thing kind of. Most definitely. We were playing, I feel like we were playing great defense. Uh, we were playing good defense and. Um, they made a play. Baker was just throwing the ball down the field. Mike Evans made a play. Um, Godwin made a play. Like I said, I think we was rushing them pretty good, moving them off the spot a lot. Um, we got some quarterbacks hits on them, and like I said, we just didn't make enough, I guess. Jeff, at the risk of sounding redundant, like what what is the biggest disconnect for you guys? Like when we're coming in here and asking the same questions, basically. I don't know, man. We just we're not making no plays down the field. I would say, um, and you know when he. Holding the ball, we gotta, you know, eventually get to him a little more than what we doing. But we all, we just need to be on the same page. Um, we gotta start making plays. That's, I mean, we see what they doing. Team not just like I said, they we had a couple games where they run the ball, but team not just been said they finna sit and run the ball on us. Um, so we gotta eventually affect the quarterback more and uh, when the ball in the air or whatever it may be, we gotta start making plays. How do you keep frustration and kind of ball uh, over at this point? Um, our leaders, um, myself and. Everybody else, we gotta um, keep everyone together. We gotta, um, we got Jacksonville next week. Not on, on the road, coming back to Florida. And it's not gonna get no easier for us. We gotta find a way to make plays. We gotta find a way to put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, these games on the road, I mean, it's so much different for you guys. You guys are going crazy at home. You guys are going crazy at home, going after the quarterback. What's the difference here? Like, why is it, it doesn't seem like? I feel like we got out to the quarterback pretty good today. Um, a couple of times. Winning? Winning and then also uh, I mean, the, 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 the two touchdowns they got today, I mean, one of them was a screen. I mean, you ain't like, I hit the quarterback on that. It just, we didn't stop the screen. And then the other one to Mike Evans, he just threw the ball in there. And Mike Evans made a play. So I think, like I said, we was getting out to him. We, I mean, from my understanding, when we came to the sideline, we had Baker Mayfield flutter back there. He moving, he out the pocket, he, Getting, you know, 
um, a lot of boots or whatever it may be, we made him uncomfortable. I, I feel like um, we just, like I said, it's a lot of ways to affect the quarterback than just getting sacks. If we make him get out the spot and he dirt the ball or he take off scrambling, of course we got to have good rush lane, but we have, um, that's a win for us. Like, you know, guys getting in the middle of the pocket and getting them out of the spot. Like, eventually them going to um, turn to sacks or, you know, batted balls, them going to eventually turn to interception. So, of course, we want to, you know, uh, get more um, stats out of that, you know, especially like sacks or whatever it may be. But like I said, I feel like sometimes sacks get overrated because that's all we, we say, sacks, sacks, sacks. But it's, I, I'm still going to live by more way to affect the quarterback than just getting sacks. As for battling and, and adjusting, um, but obviously offensive line is all about consistency and being able to gel, um, you know, and haven't really had that combination. We'll get a lot of reps together, um, so we'll build on that. But, um, you know, still got to be able to do our jobs and execute that, which we didn't do quite well. Then. You guys say something individually, collectively, to Will at some point along the way, or is it just kind of part of a deal as the game unfolds? Yeah, I mean, I think everyone knows everyone knows when they're not doing their job and everyone knows when they are. Um, you know, I think we we understood the deal, what, what the deal was, and, you know, that we had to be better. Um, so, you know, you know, there's not too much too much talking back and forth in terms of that, but we knew what we had to do. And, um, unfortunately, didn't do well enough today. Success that they have in the front Is that something you guys – no, I think, you know, that's definitely something we saw on tape a little bit. You know, I can't speak to every single, you know, stun or twist they ran. Right. Um, but, you know, we're always, you know, always ready for that. Every team does something like that. Um, you know, we just got to be, you know, execute it better. You know, I think we, there wasn't anything crazy out of the ordinary. Um, we've just got to do a better job, you know, on my end too. You know, they heated us up, but so as an offensive line, you got to be able to protect that and then give them time and give them the pocket. Craig, when you see Will continue to be back there and get hit over and over again, he gets up and he comes back, what does that say to you about him? Yeah, he's got a lot of toughness. Um, I give him credit. You know, he's, you know, first couple of starts here, you know, he's really hung back there and 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 he had a, a, couple, a few good throws. Um, but you do feel a little bit of disappointment in your mind, you know, seeing a young guy get hit like that when you know you know, he needs his time. You know, he's to get that ball off to our receivers. Um, but you know, a ton of respect for him for hanging in there and being tough. Brable said not to mistake effort and execution, but if you guys are prepared and your effort is strong, which this team generally has, yeah. then where's kind of the disconnect on the exit? Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. Um, you know, it's tough because, like you said, you know, if you're, pre if you're prepared, which I think we, did, we had a good week and, and guys played hard, but, um, you know, if that's communication, if that's just technique and being better at technique, you know, that can be a problem too, but... You know, it's our job to figure that out, and obviously that has been has been happening so far and doing today.